You're watching content created here at the Sci Conference 2014 in London. Thank you for watching. And we're going to talk to David Vinson, uh, one of the contributors in a, in a paper. And David, I've, I've learned a little bit more about your subject because I was talking to uh, another author. Um, and it, it, it was about the natural language Right. Uh, processing. Processing. Uh, for me, totally new, uh, mm -hmm. but it, it's, it sounds like something that uh, all companies, uh, not only companies that take reviews, should be busy with, right? It's, it's a thing that's really important for your um, right. online presence. So what natural language processing allows you to do is analyze user content. So users will typically go online and write about products or businesses that they've been to and then natural language processing is really a way of breaking down that text. Um, the idea being that there are underlying features about you as a person that leak out into that text. And so you can, in a sense, analyze those texts in particular to understand more about the user who wrote it. Okay, so this would say that even if I write a real, real angry text, uh, that you could um, maybe analyze that in base I would still be uh, a fan of the brand, but I'm just disappointed at the moment, right. or that I really uh, maybe I'm a, uh, I'm the competition writing it. You can make these uh, distinct uh, distinct differences. Yeah. So the goal is to try and find those differences, and um, there's a variety of different measures that you can use in natural language processing, uh, including information theory, which is really a statistical way of analyzing text to understand differences in, let's say, affective valence of a particular message. So, um, yeah. So you, uh, your paper, in uh, what, what kind of um, uh, uh, search questions did you ask yourself? What were you looking for? Um, the main concern of the current work, I, I focused on uh, Yelp reviews. And the goal was really to try and understand the text and see if there's any lining up of, let's say you give a five star rating versus a one star rating. What aspects of your text reflect those types of ratings? So the benefit in a sense of Yelp, of using the Yelp database is really that it's structured to give you this information about the user so then you can make those decisions or you can actually make those connections. So in, in just your opinion, do you think that companies are already uh, uh, enough aware of uh, also the, the event advantage it did what this would give you? Because if you really do a good uh, analysis of the natural language, you would know your customers really, uh, better, right? Yeah, I think this is really a large focus right now with most corporate uh, work that's focusing on any kind of user content, including, including big data, in the sense of trying to integrate and understand how all of these how all of this new information about a user can give you information about that particular user and what they're going to like. And so it's of benefit to the company, but it's also of benefit to you because how they solicit to you will mean, or what they solicit to you is actually what you like. So a conference like the Sci Conference, what does this bring you for uh, uh, as an author? Obviously you, you want to create momentum, create an, uh, an audience, but maybe interesting connections as well? Yes, of course. I've, I've already met a handful of different people from groups that I have never thought really even existed. So in terms of diversity, this is, this is the best place I've been so far. Thank you, David. Vincent, you want to watch more stories of offers or keynotes or our, our wonderful speakers, please check the website, the Sci Conference, because there's a lot more going on there. Uh, watch the content, and if you like, obviously, share. And uh, maybe we see you next year at the Sci Conference uh, uh, 2015. Thank you for watching.